Hello, I'm Derek Wynn. I'm the engineering manager at Monarch Systems. Uh, I'm the person who brings um, the scope and the design aims to everything. So we want to be able to tackle gas monitoring, for example. Uh, what is it that we actually want to try to achieve? What are the problems that we're actually trying to solve? That's my main input to uh, everything electronics related. Well, we're making a lot of electronics, so we wanted to be able to take on the design and actual manufacture of everything to basically take on the control and making sure that we're producing the best products we can. This piece of machinery is basically able to do all of our electronic production in maybe a third of the year. So it does have a lot of uh, expansion capacity in it. So we can do a lot of work quite quickly by designing in Altium, getting the parts bought in, making things in different configurations as fast as we possibly can, trialing them, and then basically making the next revision, the next revision, and get to the point where we have a, a, good, a good design. So in terms of future-proofing, what we're basically able to do now is that uh, we've got everything that's in-house, so we've got that vertical integration of the business happening. Um, we'll be still buying in components that we put on the boards. So all of these different reels here that are used in the, in the pick and place machine, they're, they're bought in. But where we have uh, the availability and the, the access now is that, say if we want to do a quick change on something or we want to be able to develop a, um, a board a little bit uh, further with, say, be adding um, resistors to things, or you want to be able to make something a little bit more robust by putting in additional electronics, uh, we're able to do that now quickly with a quick turnaround. So we've just got a lot more control more than anything. Well, when I first started here, you're dealing primarily with uh, light fabrication, light medium fabrication. So you go out and people will be using angle grinders and be spraying things down with, with uh, primers and paints. And we'll be looking at how we can bring in a, a scrubber to be able to get into its location. So how we can kind of lift things in those elements of the, the chamber that we had control of. So that was primarily what all the design focus was on. Now we've got something like this. So we're talking here, this is all first class stuff. Uh, the beetle will be able to get down into how we do our gas monitoring, how we get into our control, how we can do some cool things in the future that um, are able to elevate our design to be more meaningful in the mine site. Being able to do other stuff that's outside of mining. So being able to get into our plant growth space, all the different sensors that's involved with that, all of the uh, HVAC control, anything that we want to do that's automated, we'll use electronics so the more electronics design that we have the more ability we have to improve our designs for the refuge chambers and more spaces that we're able to go into and I get to wear a lab coat which is pretty cool you come in here and you see really complex machinery and it just basically validates the type of professionalism we want to bring to the engineering team so all this is really doing is like showing a mirror to us as a, a growing business to be able to do more and more cool things really we do look forward to the exciting opportunities these machines will bring to us in the near future